Well, today, let's look at one of the most saddest but so beautiful tunes. We have a beautiful progression that does a few weird things, so we'll look into that. We'll look into the main opening riff of the fifth notes and coming down into this beautiful tune. And we'll look at some other features too that make this some of the most heart-tugging music. Well, hi there, I'm Kylie and we love to share easy tips and tricks to inspire students to learn the love of music here at our music studios. If you enjoyed the content today, then I'd love for you to subscribe and a thumbs up is the best compliment you can give. Let's check out the progression and let's look into this opening riff that has what we call open fits. So with the piano accompaniment, let's also include some of our main melody just for interest. Okay, so if we pull that apart, we have the pickup note down there at the A, up to high A, D minor chord here in our left hand, and then we're going to rock back and forwards to cover our melody note there, and then up to the sixth note, and then follow that down the left hand as well. Down your melody notes there, and then onto a B flat chord here, and this is our melody coming down here. Just follow that a little as well, and then F bass note, change to A bass note there in our left hand. Our right hand can also um, do the cartwheel of the chord there with the A, F and C, changing to C sharp and E underneath with our A bass there. Okay, so let's have a go at playing that. One, two, three, and... To the next section we go back to our D minor again with our fifths rocking following the melody line there in our right hand here we go and then let's do a cartwheel of the G minor chord in our right hand as we go up to the C melody there and flow down then we're going to come down to our C chord C's down in the bass and in the right hand as well we're going to follow down and up the melody there in our right hand. Our left hand is going to play our C, G and C flowing up there together. So let's do those. And then we're going to follow up to our melody again, stay in line with that, to the F pattern there. Finish with the F left hand. So our left hand pattern is kind of doing a jogging walk up to a jogging walk. Let's play those together for bars three and four. One, two, here we go. So onto bars five and six now. Let's cover our E minor flat five. So we'll do our same jogging walk up there in the bass. And the right hand is going to keep following our melody in the bar of the violin coming down in six there. So from our G to our B flat. So together they look like. And then to an A pattern, we're going all the way down to an A here. We're going to do these three notes, A, E and D against our A bass. Stepping down as this hand steps up here. And then coming in again, changing to F and C sharp in the right hand, up again. And then we're going to have a little bass run here. And finishing with our A minor 6 chord resolving to our D patterns there. Okay, so let's play those together now. So bars 5 and 6 together. 1, 2, here we go. to bars 7 and 8 we get the continued 6 sleeping down in our melody so we'll follow that as well our left hand can maybe just hold this one so together they just look like that and then we can follow the melody down here same kind of right hand that we had before with our A, E and D there um, following our A bass stepping down and in again Coming into our C sharp and our F there to the E, follow our melody then to our D tune on a B 
B-flat bass, so that looks like that. And we'll just throw in a little bit more accompaniment going to our six here. So moving our hand down to our A and our F, coming down. So just stepping down our six there, so together it looks like B-flat bass, and then up we come in our left hand as our right hand steps down, and then to our A suspended chord, stepping to our three again. This is bar seven and eight together. One, two, ready, play. And then we can have our held G minor again, I think, against our sevenths now. So our F down to our G, create our G minor seven chord. And then up we go A suspended, but let's step up with the bass there as well. So stepping down there together, and then we're going to go to our D pattern. And our little ending is going to create a D2 and up. Then up our 6, let's come up to the G minor here just to be a bit, bit different. G minor cartwheel there with our D, G and B flat. And 6 coming down from our C and our E, down together. And a pretty little harmony there finishing on a D2 pattern. So this is bars number 9 and 10 together now. Let's have a go. 1, 2, ready, play. This progression ends up leaving us feeling like we're kind of hanging in limbo. It wants to resolve, it wants to resolve and it doesn't quite until the very end. Okay, so let's do a full run of Schindler's List piano accompaniment. Here we go. One, two, three, and. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you can enjoy this beautiful little excerpt as well. I'll put a link down below for you to be able to click on to play along with Schindler's List theme and enjoy.